Hi, Sam here from CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's Express Tip on the difference between maximum segment length and point density interval when importing graphics into a DTM. When you import a linear feature into a DTM, you have two options for densifying the triangulation. You can use the maximum segment length or the point density interval. Let's take a look at the difference. I'll go to my Import Surface dialog. I'll give my new surface a name. I'll just call it Example. And then I want to import each of these two uh, MicroStation elements as a break line. For the first one, I'll use the maximum segment length, bring it in as a break line, and I'm going to set the maximum segment length to 30 feet. The line itself is 100 feet long. So I'll apply, identify the element, and accept. While I'm here, I'll change my seed name, turn off the maximum segment, turn on the point density, and also set the interval to 30 feet. Apply, identify the second line, and accept. Now I have two break lines, each with a 30-foot densification. So when I go to Surface, View Surface, I'll go straight to View Triangles, and it will force me to triangulate the model. You see that it appears that they are identical. However, if I view the features, so I'll go to my Update 3D Plan, and view both features and notice the maximum segment length actually adds points. The point density interval does not. Also notice that this is a 100 foot length line and what happens since my density factor was 30 it divides the line in half and in half again until each segment is equal to or less than the densification factor. What's the difference if they appear to triangulate the same way? If I edit a feature point, I'll edit the maximum segment length feature point first. I'll go to the other end and I'll take this point and move it. I'll apply I'll view the triangulation again, forcing me to re-triangulate, and you'll notice that this segment is not densified. Let's repeat for the other feature, so I'll edit the feature point. This time I'll edit the point density feature. Again, I'll edit the end point. And notice it does not edit from the triangulation point, it edits from the original point. The point density interval does not put in fixed points, but points that are just along the densification factor. So now if I view the triangles again, you'll notice that it densifies along the point density interval it adds extra points where necessary to make sure each segment is below 30 feet. And that's the difference. Maximum segment length adds fixed points. Point density is just that, a density factor. The maximum segment length can only be entered when you import the data. However, the point density interval can be entered any time by going to Feature Properties. Notice I have a point density interval of 30. I could add a point density to the maximum segment length and if I add the same point density and then once again view the triangles it densifies this segment however these were already below 30 feet so nothing is added. Thanks for watching. Would you like to be notified when we publish new tips? 
sign up for our email list at civilcadconsultant.com.